Hi, everyone. I am living right now. It was such a great day at our hospital today. Um, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. I'm laying down again today because this is so comfortable and I worked a lot today, okay? Um, but let's get right to it because I am living right now. So at the park, Sam and Jason catch Franco watching them. And Sam quickly deduces that he was the one watching at the barn, but he denies it. You can't, what are you doing? And uh, Franco gets his bag and pulls out a sketch pad and with a drawing of like a bird and a squirrel and the fun stuff like that. And he's like, I sketch wildlife. It's therapeutic. And he says he's having a hard time and it helps him work stuff out. But then Jason grabs the sketch pad and is looking through it and he sees the Nina weird corpsey sketch. And I don't know if anyone watches Grimm, but doesn't she kind of look like a Hexen beast in that? So Franco goes on to say that, yes, like he used to hate Jason, but he doesn't anymore. And he would never hurt Nina. This is just like a drawing he made, not like some weird threat. And Sam thinks Nina has a right to know about the weird sketch and Jason does not trust him. And he thinks the sketch might be enough to get Elizabeth to finally take Jake away from Franco. Um, at Windermere, Nicholas wants an explanation for her, for Hayden's secret stash of diamonds. And she says he planted them in her bag, obviously. And he says he can tie the diamonds diamonds back to her so apparently they're from a necklace her father once purchased allegedly I guess with the money he would have had from that like whatever he had going on um so he had the stones examined and they can be tied back to Hayden and my nose is like doing that weird thing where I don't know you like can feel the cartilage I don't know I'm weird don't talk to me uh so they decide on a detente um to call it even Fine, but first, Nicholas wants her to sign a document that would forfeit the $5 million she's owed in the prenup. I say, I know, like, the pre like she's owed, but, like, I know some people have, like, different opinions on whether she actually deserves that. Um, So she refuses, obviously, and she says, yo, call the FBI, tell them about the diamonds, Um, but then I'm taking you down with me and turning over all the evidence I have against you for, you know, having me shot. Um, so they agreed to table their conversation. They should back off. They're going to stay married. And she wants a certain rights and privileges that come with that. And then he starts like unbuttoning him shirt. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure she's talking about money. At Anna's house, a Griffin and Anna arrive back and she tells him about the eyewitness. And she wants corroborating evidence. But then Griffin kind of counsels her to focus on herself right now. And she's like, you know what? I, I want it to celebrate Duke in his life. And I'm going to do that. And Griffin's like, I'm in. Let's do that. So she tells him the story of she and Duke's first meeting and their first dance. And Griffin says he has two left feet, but he would love to learn to dance to, like, honor his father. So she, they, like, have, like, a little lesson. It's so cute. I believe it was, like, the waltz. Um, but, and he's, he's pretty good. And then he spills something on his shirt and they have to go to general hospital because he has another shirt in his, in his locker. So let's go there instead of, I don't know. So I guess general hospital is closer than his house slash apartment slash wherever he's staying. Um, at the parking garage, Alexis calls for help for the witness and Nathan comes over to help. Uh, Nathan asks if she knows who he is. She avoids saying it slash is on the phone with 911 take it as you will. Um, it's an apparent overdose and he may not make it. Um, at Julian's office, Nina arrives and after, um, some back and forth about the magazine, she tells him her and Franco are over and Nina still loves Franco, but they just want different things. And, um, she says maybe she never knew the real Franco after all. Uh, Franco arrives. Oh yeah, that's weird. Okay. So Julian has to leave. He gets a text from Alexis. I don't know where that went in there, but whatever. Um, so Franco arrives and he tells her that someone saw something and he doesn't want her to get the wrong idea if they tell her about it. And he shows her the drawing and he says it's not about hurting her. It's just how he sees her. And basically they come to the conclusion that they're broken and can't be fixed at the hospital. This is where all the fun stuff happens. Are you ready? Yeah. Can you handle it? Yeah. Um, so Alexis and Nathan bring the witness in and she texts Julian to come to GH because that's what you do, obviously. Uh, so Nathan asks Alexis how she knew the witness. She tells her story. He wants to know what case she's working on, but then he gets a call. So she's not able to stay. Julian arrives and she tells him. She found him with a needle in his arm. Uh, so he died. The witness didn't make it. I know. Huge surprise, right? Um, who would have saw that coming? Uh, so Nathan wants to rule stuff out. And Julian's like, it's an overdose. What's there to rule out? I just came into the situation, but I know everything. That's not suspicious at all. And uh, Nathan wants to talk to Alexis more. And since she found him and she's in the position she's in representing Carlos and being married to Julian, who this witness probably would have implicated, um, 
I don't know. I think it looks pretty suspicious on her part. You know, she was the one that found him. She was seen badgering him with the floating rib. I think all my all my hopes and dreams are about to come true. Uh, so Sam and Jason arrive and Griffin and Anna arrive. I know everyone's everyone's coming in. Um and she calls Jordan and wants to talk about the witness. Uh call me crazy, crazy. Um, but by the looks of it, Julian didn't expect them to look into the case that hard. Uh, because like he has a pretty worried face, right, E Cat? This is what I deal with. This is what I deal with all day. E Cat, look at the camera. She doesn't want Oi, E Cat. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, wherever was I? Okay. So Julian has an answer for everything and is talking about it in like way too much detail. And just in the fact that like he, he, Alexa should be the one talking about this, not him. Um, and Anna overhears that the witness died and now end scene where all my hopes and dreams came true. Uh, so Hayden clarifies that she wants a money, not what he's attempting to offer and he'll give her an allowance. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, firstly, I don't feel like she played her cards right, but she's not having it. She should have never turned her back on Tracy Quartermain. Because Tracy would have, I, <laughs> I feel like she would have included her in the company, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Franco wants all the happiness for Nina, and he says happiness isn't in the cards for him. And he's going to be who he really is, which is the kind of person that makes those sketches. Uh, Griffin is looking at his scar, and Nathan comes in, and, you know, not awkward at all. Um, Anna says Alexis was badgering the witness at the floating rib, and now he's dead. Alexis Alexis found him in the garage, and Anna accuses Alexis of killing him. And I'm like, oh, this is so good. This is amazing. Because what I kind of wanted to happen, which I'm kind of glad it's happening not like this, and Alexis didn't get shot, is that Julian's actions will, like, hurt Alexis in a way that maybe she'll be arrested, and, like, she'll now, like, be accused of killing this guy, because it looks pretty effing suspicious. I know I don't curse, but it looks super duper suspicious. I know. Strong language on we shouldn't sing today. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Are you um, happy with the turn of events? A turn of events. There's a piece of lint right here. That's nice. Um, are you happy with the turn of events? Do you like where they're going? Where like Julian's actions are gonna wind up hurting Alexis, but not in like a physical way. And like now, haha, haha, you might go to jail. Oh my god, I'm living. I'm living. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so so much. And I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. Uh, tomorrow is going to be normal time. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be normal time. I'll comment on today's video if anything changes about that. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye!